Studies show that unhealthy food is about $1.50 cheaper per day. Dietitian Rachel Norrit believes it's simple for students to gain access to inexpensive healthy food. There are plenty of uh, good inexpensive healthy options and it comes down to just um, the students being open to trying new things or uh, just thinking a little bit ahead. Um, like for the food courts, for example, you know, they're in a hurry and it's easier to grab just a pizza pizza than have the stir fry made with a bunch of vegetables. Um, and if the line's long, it can be discouraging too. Breakfast but is arguably the most important meal of the day, and students often opt for the quicker, least expensive, and most unhealthy options. I don't think breakfast is too challenging to get healthy options. I think sometimes it's um, a comfort to get like a breakfast buddy with bacon and egg and stuff like that, and it's easy to grab real quick. There can be long-term effects of eating a poor diet, including poor academic performance. And I, I wouldn't say I have any, you know, measurable data on, you know, if their performance was improved or not, but I definitely think that the ones that make good choices, you know, it definitely pays off, you know, in their academics. As time progresses and people become more aware of the effects of a poor diet, they will begin to make healthier life choices. People are kind of more aware of the effects of sugar um, on increased diabetes and the effects of fried foods and trans fats. I think that they are starting to grasp, you know, trying to move towards whole, more whole food. The government urges people to eat more fruits and vegetables. Through its programs, the federal subsidies to agriculture, health and healthy food is often when colleges begin to prioritize healthy eating, it will become easier for students to do the same. With HSJI News, I'm Hannah Washington with photographer Laura Holmes.